it really opened new doors in photography that I didn't really know were there. Like I used loads of new techniques. My sister, she was just messing around on her phone and stuff. And I just started taking random pictures of her because I thought it was cool to show like our generation and stuff. And when uh, she figured out I was taking photos, she was going mad. She was like, oh no, I wasn't ready. I wasn't like picture ready. And I was like, you don't have to be picture ready. It's kind of the best work come from when you're unaware, or just not prepared for it almost. That's At the end of the class, we'd have an opportunity to kind of take pictures with the other students with different materials like, um, like the lighting in the room and the torches and that kind of thing. Um, after the photography finished up, I started taking more photos and when I saw something cool I just take a photo straight away um, and I never usually did that before and my phone's filled up <laughs> quite a bit because of it um, but yeah I've gotten some really cool photos since then. Um, I'm also the art teacher so I brought in some artistic aspects to the, the photography block as well so it um, gives the students an opportunity to display their work, display their skills and um, and also to learn about you know the basic um, technical skills of the camera that they're actually using as well. We learned about some of the the settings on your camera that you can change them and you can manipulate the photos, which can make them look different. And it really showed me that I can use them for if I'm taking photos in the future. Um, I started off with small kind of compact uh, cameras, but I felt limited by them I suppose because you know the the phones the cameras they use on their phones are um, so good and um, the students are so used to using them so um, I was quite comfortable using the actual cameras on the phone. I use like the settings on my phone that you have that like everyone has on their phones but like I'd never properly edit, edited a photo. When like the class started out I like found out there was an app Bisco that I used to edit like all my photos now and like there's just so much you can do with it and all and it's like I find it really useful when you take a photo and like I don't just use Visco for like proper photos I use them for um, photos that I would take just normally now and like you can influence like a simple photo and make it turn into something like unusual and unreal that's what I love about photography. I feel like I know how to edit better um, definitely because some of the apps I got on my phone uh, because of photography I never knew how to use before and I learned about the grid that you can set up on your phone as well and um, how you can use different angles and everything. Some of the techniques I'll keep with me um, when I'm taking photos in the future. Um, there's been a phenomenal amount of talent brought to the surface through the eight weeks. So I have um, encouraged students from that age, from that particular block to go further with it, um, start off with some competitions and even consider it for college. The class itself kind of taught me a lot more. It expanded my whole view on um, photography. It showed me that it's much more on what I'd originally considered it to be. I just used to kind of, if I saw something that looked cool, I'd kind of take a picture of it, whereas now I take into account loads of different elements like the lighting and shadows and contrast and like loads of different elements we learned about in the class. Um, so it's definitely kind of expanded out the whole concept of photography and there's lots more I can explore definitely which Miss Kelly has shown me through the class. Um, I used to think I'd known pretty much everything there is to know about photography because it seemed to me to be a pretty basic concept. You, you take a picture and that's it. But um, the class has definitely shown me that it's much more. I would hope that two or three of my students would actually consider it, consider it as a serious um, career prospect because they have the talent and I, I feel that the, the work that they have shown at this early stage is easily they could produce a portfolio for college. I felt like it would be a challenge but I was really interested because photography was something that I thought I could give a go anyway and I felt like maybe it could bring out something in me that maybe I could just it'd be a change to what I usually do. Like, um, photography spans over so many different topics now like there's fashion photography, there's landscape, there's journalism, um, there's just so many different ways that photography comes in as a career these days and now I think in a world with social media and everything it's such a we rely on pictures and um, for information more than words maybe now so um, I think pictures are very important now and it's great to kind of get to learn more about 
how to express information through the pictures. Yeah, me, Ella and Sydney worked a lot together and we're friends outside of photography class so we'd go over to each other's houses and take different photos at different times of the day and doing different things and we could borrow each other's clothes and you know have little mini photo shoots which was really fun. Well it kind of put them like into focus like rather than seeing them on my phone and it's just like it makes you look at it more and realize what you've done. True effort. My favorite photograph would be of my friend Ella. We I, we've gone out to the athletic track and I was kind of just taking photos of her while she was in her element. She was running around. She was doing long jumps and I like sat down underneath her while she was doing a long jump and I got a really good picture of her in the air with the sun in the background and it just turned out so like I literally needed no editing whatsoever because it was just really good.